Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? Um, this is the rain edition. This is the rain edition of, of throwbacks. I'm sure. Uh, we trying to get it right, figuring it out. Right there. Boom. Oh, right there. So this is the rain edition of throwbacks. I'm your host. I'm sure. Um, so, I found my book. So I figured I found my book. Might as well do catch up, right? It's raining. I ain't going nowhere. Be out here. Them niggas around there in the, in the um in the, in, in, in the rain, trying to dodge the rain. I, I couldn't do it no more. Word up. So I did the video where I talked about the people and stuff like you know my homies and stuff like that. Really, and boom, 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 boom. So. I had some other stuff that I wrote down that I know the show would have been a little longer had I um had my book. So here we go. So the first thing was I saw a very athletic um rat in the supermarket. He's very athletic. I seen him and he seen me and he started running. Looked like like Lassie come home and he. He like jumped, he jumped, and when he jumped, he jumped and kind of like hit, hit the like thing and, and scooted it up under. <coughs> Woo! So, um, yeah, that's crazy. I ran to Biz, I was like, yo, Biz, yo, son. And, you know, New Yorkers, it's not really a big thing. They see the videos. You know what I mean? The squirrels eat trash like like they rats up here. You know, they come and stand right next to you. Squirrels down there in the south, they still playing. Look like they, you know, in slow motion, all frolicking, eating stuff out the grass like they should. The animals even different up here, yo. <laughs> we was watching, um, we was watching a pigeon. Right, we was watching a pigeon, and he was eating some fried chicken, some some chicken bones or whatever. He was fucking it up, and so they was like, "Yo, that's not that bird. Don't supposed to be doing that." And I was like, "He a, 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 a you know, he a predator bird in New York. Pigeons is predator birds in other countries. Pigeons is like la 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 la. la we pigeons, oh, 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 oh. In New York, they like, yo, we got to eat how we can eat, man. And fried chicken is good. So they kind of like a vulture bird, I guess. Pigeons are a form of a vulture bird in New York City. That's crazy. Because now that means that a body or something laying or uh, uh, something like that, that's really a scary thing, you know. And that could lead to other types of diseases from these things. But, you know what I mean? I will admit, though. For the most part, New York is pretty clean. They got your trash floating and stuff like that, but it's not crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, it's not mad crazy. It's not. It's, it's, it's funny how, how, how it is. Because I be seeing stories about L.A., the trash, the smell of this, to that. New York is, New York ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. People, that's a whole other thing. I, 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 I see myself as a journalist. So even though I'm telling the stories and stuff, that's why I try to try to tell it creatively or colorfully. Or I talk about, you know, making sure I kind of like protect people, look, name and legacy a little bit or whatever the case may be. Because that's what they do. They get somebody and make them look like a monster and have them doing all kinds of crazy shit or whatever. I can't move the same way. I can't move the same way. Especially about people I care about. You know what I mean? Let me do a, a, <laughs> a movie on Donald Trump or, or Bill Clinton or one of them. You know, let me do a movie on them. Then you'll see the, the real gloves come off. Let me do a movie about them. I see Joe Biden's son getting sued for child support, huh? Joe Biden out here really, they out here really acting like they're a black family. <laughs> they really out here like that, man. Word. 
uh, the Mickey, the Mickey Mouse thing. Yeah, I was really surprised that women with the that Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse ribbon thing in their head, or maybe it's just the same woman I I done seen a couple of times. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of homies be wanting to mention stuff and talk about stuff sometimes that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like. I don't know. I don't know. Certain stories are just like for me. I'm just like. Nah. It's like certain things they don't need to know. The Warriors need their ass kicked for playing KD. Now they trying to trade them. Talk about trading them. Hurting all of this type of thing like that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? I hope Memphis slip up. And draft R.J. Barrett. Like, yeah, believe what everybody's saying. The Knicks, yeah, believe that shit. Believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? Believe that shit. Believe that shit. Believe that shit. So, I hope they, they um go for the hype and, and draft your boy. I was thinking about adjustments that I definitely will have to make. You know what I mean? Because I'm still doing, I'm still do me up here. Like, even though I'm in New York, I ain't going to come up here and let New York do me. I'm going to come up here and do New York. I'm going to move in it, move in and out of the hood strategically. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm do what I do because that's what I'm supposed to do. i supposed to. But, that being said, so, parking. Parking. Oh, my goodness. I did, I did think though, I thought because of, you figure, in the city, right? In the city, everybody more smarter and everybody sharper and everybody like this, right? Right? Everybody sharper, cooler, you can't put nothing over on nobody or whatever. I thought communication would be better here. I'd say that. I'd say that I, I'm surprised that the communication is to the level that it is. Or lack thereof. I'm just trying to see what the time is. Okay, seven minutes. We ain't going to. So, yeah. So, that was it. But then also, my vibe. You know, I'm I'm chilling. I always was good. I picked on bullies. I didn't pick on people that did. You know what I'm saying? You pick on a bully, beat somebody up. It's at least five or six people like you for that. <laughs> Word up. So, I, I was always moved strategically. You know what I'm saying? The dude that's harassing people, they can't come to school over they, you know, he messing with everybody when they go to the corner store or whatever. I'm gonna go punch him in the face. I wanna punch him in the face. I want him to try. You know what I mean? Just so I could, you know, and get some points. So, but I say all that to say that my style always been smooth, universal. I I, I didn't look to bully people, start with nobody or nothing like that. Shout out to Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts, the first brother um, fireman, one of my childhood dreams. First brother fireman, he was right over here in, um, on Decatur Street. You know what I mean? It was friction between other members in his family, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to get into that friction. But for the fact of who he was and what he was doing, and at the time, he was one of the few that was doing doing their thing or whatever the case may be shout out salute him. and it's and it's always good when people that you know when when you can see people have respect for you looking you know what i'm saying so that's that that's what everybody should be trying to strive for where people look at you and they smile when they see you, <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i mean now you might make a decision that make them frown depending on what it is or whatever, but you should always be shooting for, um, you know, shooting for that, that reception, you know, you should be shooting from, for that reception from people, at least me, you know, because I always say honor, go back to honor, you got to want to be honorable, your word to be honor, uh, be taken with some level of, um, respect or uh, assurance that what whatever you say is going to come to fruition you know what i'm saying you going to at least try give it a good effort as opposed to ah oh, this dude is a clown whatever he say is whatever you know what i mean 
Yeah, so, so, um, yeah, I was talking. Still, the, the change in the gentrification back here is, is, is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and um, shout out to, to, to Brim, Brim in the back, back block boys. <laughs> Word. People is if they stare, they look away. That's why I thought the communication would be better here. Like I thought the communication when people see each other, it would be of a of a more higher intellectual thing. Like not the same stuff over and over. Like like we should be past the do you got a job, this and this and that. Like, okay, we understand that y'all all feel that way or whatever the case may be. But yo. Y'all need to figure out a way to sort through that shit quicker so we can get them other shit. You know what I mean? Like, we can't keep on the same shit. We can't. You know what I mean? Like, once you get to a certain level of uh, whatever, um, awareness, age, whatever, or combination of the two, it's supposed to be taken for a given. Once you don't see that, you just move on. It's easy. That's what I'm doing. Once I'm not seeing certain shit, I'm going to move on, man. I'm going to move on, man. Well, and, and mine's is not really 